Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Joe Smith's got some uh, exciting news, or potentially exciting news. Maybe some of you are excited, maybe some of you are like that, who cares. But Walmart, uh, pictured here, many of you that have been following Joe Smith for some time now, uh, probably know that uh, Joe Smith is in the same uh, hometown area as Walmart, where Walmart first started. And Walmart uh, is uh, working on some new technology here. They, you know, them self-driving and autopilot Tesla cars, and I guess uh, this company called Waymo has some self-driving taxis out on the West Coast. But Walmart is uh, working on electric delivery trucks. Um, box trucks like uh, U-Haul trucks that are going to deliver and they're going to be self-driving electric trucks that deliver from the distribution centers to all the area stores the super centers and the grocery stores and there's a lot of them around here it's like uh, Starbucks in Seattle there's a Walmart in every corner around here it seems like um, some uh, 30 stores or so between the grocery stores, Sam's Clubs, and uh, neighbor markets, the grocery, or the super centers, grocery, and Sam's, yeah. Uh, across the uh, multi city metro here in the two counties. And eventually, over the course of the next few years, or by the end of the decade, they're planning on expanding this concept and idea to where all deliveries uh, between. Uh, all the distribution centers nationwide to all the different stores nationwide will be done with these self-driving electric trucks. That way they can cut their costs in half. They don't need hire people to drive them. Because uh, cost of hiring drivers, so uh, once you add in the insurance, the work comp, the, all the taxes, payroll taxes, Medicare, once Walmart pays their fair share of taxes on those employees. Uh, it's costing Walmart some forty to fifty dollars an hour per employee uh, as you drive around in a truck, delivery truck, and just sit and drive all day. So to uh, keep uh, prices down, because uh, a lot of customers, especially around here are against uh, paying higher wages and complain about higher prices at the stores. Uh, Walmart's trying to cut their delivery costs in half here or maybe even reduce them more than half. Also, another uh, concept Walmart's working on, Joe Smith's actually uh, passed one at an intersection they got smaller uh, delivery vans uh, Kind of like uh, transit size vans, uh, the four transit connects, whatever they're called. Um, kind of like uh, delivery vans they got, they're going to do smaller deliveries from the stores, the grocery stores or the super centers, and then take them to a uh, designated pickup area, or, um, like a neighborhood pickup area. Or, because uh, maybe not necessary around here uh, because there's so many stores there's pretty much one within walking distance no matter where you live um, but like uh, where Joe Smith grew up in Iowa um, there's only one Walmart store in the whole county and the county to the right and county to the left and the county to the north didn't have any. So usually I had to drive half an hour to an hour to get to a Walmart store back there and still do. Well cases like that the people in these other towns will be able to order online and then that Walmart store will have a self-driving delivery van drive to the neighboring towns to a little pickup area in each neighboring town to where the people could then drive to those pickup areas in those neighboring towns to get their stuff from Walmart instead of having to drive that way they only got to drive maybe five or ten minutes or fifteen or something at the most instead of having to drive thirty 
miles, half an hour on the road or an hour on the road to get to the nearest Walmart store. So those of you that live in more rural areas across the country, uh, this could be some good news for you. You don't have to make uh, going to the nearest Walmart a uh, um, half a day trip or all day vacation or whatever. Uh, you can have stuff possibly delivered to your town and then uh, other people in your town could too and then everyone just meets up at this little Walmart bus stop for the little delivery van to show up and everyone gets their stuff and hopefully nobody steals other people's stuff however they're planning on making that work but also in the near future Walmart is planning on doing in the bigger cities like this area here uh, using those little delivery vans to do self-driving electric vehicles home deliveries from the store to your home to compete more with Amazon and other online companies. So uh, definitely something to be watching for, waiting for maybe. Uh, a lot of people definitely order through Amazon for those home deliveries. So um, this is Walmart's uh, plan to kind of catch back up with Amazon or maybe even overtake them. Uh, not quite sure uh, who's got the most sales. New uh, Walmart was on top still a few years back but Amazon was gaining ground every year. But this is definitely going to keep uh, Walmart as a major player here for some years to come. And you might even see uh, Target try to do something like this in the future, too. But I uh, just wanted to share the story here. Uh, um, you can probably look online, find some articles about it. It was just announced uh, last year. Uh, they're testing it here now, currently. But just wanted to do like a little positive story here because been talking a lot about all these race wars and violence and shootings and stuff and just want to give you guys give you heroes out there in the hero nation a positive story here something something a little bit more positive so hope you guys enjoyed this news the story here um, please hit the like button uh, subscribe if you haven't if you, if you want don't have to uh, not going to hurt Joe Smith's feelings if you don't free country do what you want uh, ring the bell if you want. Uh, please come back. Hope to see you next time. It's been Joe Smith. Sign out.